know. I want to know what that fancy dancy piece of cardboard with a wire in it is. Oh, well, yeah, that, this is high tech stuff, man. <laughs> I need to put my joiner back together. One thing when you're using these joiners is, or any of the tools, you got them up on the saw. Oops, that's not going to work. Come on, Miller, get your act together here. Uh, don't, don't leave them unattended on the saw. That is, you know, don't, don't have them up on the saw and then take take your hands off of them, because if they fall off, uh, the least they can do or it might happen is. Knock, knock the tool out of adjustment, mm. and the worst that can happen is they can break. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> so <laughs> I'll be kind of adamant about if I see you doing that, I'll say, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? Put don't take the leather pants back on. <laughs> <laughs> don't take offense. Just hang on to those tools, please." Okay, now, we're talking about joining and how we want to, how, what the joining process actually does on a, a two-person saw like this makes it a round thing. Now, that's the gives. Does, yeah, and the, the one that Jasta is making works the same way. Uh, to use the long joiner, what I do is I just set it on the set out saw somewhere, some arbitrary point, uh, generally towards the middle, and I'll loosen up both shoes so that both shoes and the file are touching the the uh, saw, and it'll tighten up the these uh, wing nuts. And then, just to make sure that it's still all the same adjustment, I'll just check it and see. Okay, it's, the file's touching. Now that it's rocking, so something happens. But one of the things that, I, that are annoying me about the Gibbs joint is that when you tighten the thing up, it sometimes changes the adjustment on your shoes. Mm. So you just got, it's just a thing to be aware of, you got to test it. Okay, now it's not touching here, but it is touching here. Now that ended up adjusting a little bit high, so I'll go ahead and... Back. Now... Just touching there. Now, um, now I told you, you were talking about the wave, possible waviness and saw. The fact that you know, saw can be different, have different curvature with different places. One thing you got to make, that you want to make sure is that you don't arbitrarily set this thing up or adjust this for, say, a low, uh, inadvertently a low spot on your saw. Because mm -hmm. if you adjust it for a low spot on the saw, it'll joint the rest of the saw just fine. But as you joint the rest of the saw down, it'll also start jointing your low spot down, which you don't want to do. What you want to do is set it up on your, your, your joiner up for mm -hmm. a higher spot, mm -hmm. and then joint your high spots down to the low spot. So you want the low spots to be the last place you hit. So what I do is, okay, let's adjust it for this spot. Now I'll come down here, and I'll hit the touch in there, but it's not rocking. So it's, a, it's adjusted pretty well. I'll come down here. Well, it's not hitting here means this is a little bit of a low spot, which I would expect, mm. because usually your end teeth are a little bit tall, which hold it up off the saw, which means that this feels like a low spot. So that's that's not unexpected to have to have the file <coughs> not touching down here because these end teeth will be holding it off. So that's that's not too bad. We come down here. What's well, actually touching here? You know, I can, it's not rocking. But I can feel it and hear it touching. Mm -hmm. It's touching here, but it's not rocking, so that's pretty cool. It's actually, this is a little bit low spot here. So what I've got is actually you know, doing the pretty well. I'm hitting it here, not hitting here, hitting here, not, we're starting to not hit here. I'm actually hitting here a little bit. So I'm hitting some spots and not hitting others. And so it's hitting, hitting it with the file. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear the. And you're getting uh, rakers or the, or the cutting teeth? Well, I don't know at this point. Oh, okay. Uh, if, oh, you're, if your saw has been set upright, 
previously, you'll be hitting the cutter key. But oh, there's yeah. no guarantees uh, that your yeah. saw, I ran into saw, that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into saws whose rakers were higher than the cutter key. Mm. They didn't cut worth them. Sure.